Thanks for having me today. It's great to be here. I just wanted to talk to you about, you know, what's going on in this department. In my lab, we've been working with um, an anti-cancer drug called Taxol for many years. We learn a little bit about why it's so complicated to try to design a drug and what are the things that you have to go through in order to get your active molecule finally to a patient. The opportunity to have um, research experience is, is a big deal and that's something that we are having a large difficulty giving our students. I turn away four or five people for every person that I, I allow in my lab and it's not because they're not good. It's because we just don't have the space. We don't have the personnel. You have to have a certain number of people in there that are trained in order to supervise the people who are just learning. Science is becoming very instrumentation dependent. In order to have access to that, you need to have, you need to have a, a critical mass of faculty who are working that area. We are having trouble justifying this instrument because they're saying, well, there's really not enough. So if you had it, you'd get more people, but you can't get it unless you have more people. Okay. If you don't have people who aren't doing research, then you're missing out on that, all of those opportunities for the students. Binghamton is seen as an up-and-comer. We're seen as an institution that has all the pieces, all the foundational pieces in place, but we're small and we need to grow. Give us an example of a couple things you'd like to see happen here in the next, say, year or two. I think the first thing on my wish list would be a couple of endowed professorships. Mm -hmm. Some professorships, some funding that I could use to go out and recruit more of the great faculty that Binghamton students know and expect. These faculty have certain requirements to come though. We have to be able to pay competitive salaries and that's a challenge in New York State as well as anywhere across the country. Uh, in addition, typically we have to outfit their labs. We have to put them into a facility like the lab we're in right now. So when a faculty member that's well established and is doing leading edge research comes in, they don't come alone. They come with a team of postdoctoral fellows and graduate students and it's by bringing that team together that they can then pull in undergraduate students to participate in that team. Second of all, I'd like to begin uh, some serious renovations throughout the building, both the teaching labs and the research labs. All of our teaching labs should have the same state-of-the-art material that you see right here in the research lab. I think that will give them the, the leg up that they need as they start their careers. Well, thank you so much. That was wonderful. Thanks for coming. You should come back anytime. Yeah.